Okay, so this is part two of our custom FreeNAS build. The CPU I picked for our motherboard is an Intel i3-7100. It's an LGA-1151 socket. And the reason why I picked this CPU is because one, it supports ECC RAM. Two, it has AES and I support, which is gonna be good for the encrypted containers. And three, because I didn't wanna go completely overkill and get a Xeon. But I didn't wanna go completely underkill and get like a Pentium or Celeron. So I went with like a mid-range for a free NAS server. You may think, be thinking, oh, an i5 would be mid-range. No, i5s and i7s do not support ECC RAM. So if you're gonna do a server build, you're gonna either be using Xeons, i3s, um, some of the newer Pentiums support ECC RAM, but um, I decided to opt with the i3-7100. So this is the box, and I was actually surprised about the size of the box. This thing is really, really tiny. Like I thought it was, when you look on Amazon, I thought it was gonna like be like a big, you know, a big box, but no, this, this thing is, this thing can fit all the way in my hand easily. This thing is tiny. So on the front, um, we have the nice original Intel retail packaging. It's a desktop processor and it's the seventh generation. And this is actually the um, the KB Lake generation, KB Lake. On the side here, it says Intel Core i3 processor, two cores, Intel hyper-threading technology for four-way multitask, Intel smart cache technology, supports Intel Optane memory, supports two channel DDR4 or DDR3L RAM, it also supports ECC, and then also has onboard graphics, which is the Intel HD Graphics 630, which is a good thing because in the previous video for the motherboard, you saw that the motherboard has onboard graphics, and obviously the CPU has to support that, which this one does. So it has built-in Intel HD graphics, and that's the version that it does. And of course, for the full um, specifications of the CPU, you would go to arc.intel.com. Conflict. Um, conflict free we'll see about that on the back it just basically says con con contents intel processor with thermal solution which is basically going to be their you know stock cooler three year limited warranty and instructions and basically that's all it really says on the side there it just says core i3 7100 made in vietnam interesting and of course, on the top here, we have a CPU, which it's offset, which is kind of weird, but all right. But it is sealed and everything. I checked, so it's good. But there it is. It's in the packaging. And of course, on the side here, you have all your, um, you have all your information, your, basically your product code, the batch number, which is pretty, pretty cool. And of course, your serial number, which you're not going to want to just rip that up. You want to. You're going to want to document that before you unbox. So, so let's go ahead and unbox this. Now, when a lot of people unbox these, they don't show what um, CPU cooler comes with it. But I'm going to show you all that. Now, I won't be using the stock cooler. I could get away with using the stock cooler because this thing's going to be running idle most of the time it's running it's going to be running us on free nas i'm not going to be clocking this core or, you know maxing it out or anything so inside we get our little instruction booklet intel core i3 processor just tells you how to inst install it but of course they had to freaking tape the book which isn't nice of them but as you can see right there we get a little um intel core i3 7th gen sticker to put on the front of our case, which I might do that. Actually, I don't think you use that sticker. I think, no, you don't use that sticker. I know they include a sticker. I don't know where. So here's this actual CPU, which is kind of, they say conflict free my ass, but. So here's the CPU. I'm not gonna undo it for the sake of there it is. And on the back, as you can see, it doesn't have pins, it just has contacts. 
So I'm not going to undo that because I want to protect the CPU. And I don't know how the hell this, this piece of shit comes apart. They say it's conflict free, but, oh, this pull, this comes out like that, that comes out. Oh, there we go. I'm an idiot. So here is the stock cooler. Autofocus. And as you can see, this is one that does not have the copper um, pads, aluminum cheap pads. So it will not perform the best compared to the earlier versions of the Intel stock coolers. The fans are not too bad, but and of course you have a fan on there. Delta, interesting. Um, 12 volt DC, 0.60 amps. And of course you have your four pin PWM header. But that's basically, it's very, very, it's pretty tiny. It is pretty damn tiny. So, I don't think there's anything else in the box. I thought I was supposed to get an Intel sticker. I can't like peel that off, that's on paper. Maybe it's inside the manual. Let's see if I can open this stupid ass booklet. They say it's conflict free, but the freaking booklet has tape on it. Yeah, this this tells you how to install the default CPU or cooler. Yeah. Wonder what Intel suggests putting the thermal paste on as. Oh, this has pre-applied thermal paste. I don't get an a sticker. Is it in here somewhere, hiding? Huh. I'll have to look for that. That's not cool. I can't just peel that off. That's on paper. Huh. That's interesting. Well, I wouldn't say it's conflict-free. I'll tell you that much. But, um... There's a quick look at the unboxing of the i7, or not the i7, the i3-7100 CPU. Huh, that does not go all the way in there. Good design, Intel. Very good design. So, anyway, I'm going to put this back in here and um, I'll see if on the next step which is probably either going to be the power supply or the case. I'm just doing it in the order of items I receive. So whatever order I receive my items, that's the order. I'll do it. So there you go. There's your look at the i3. See you in the next part.